hello, here we are. We are live again on our bi-weekly, is it bi-weekly? Twice a week. <laughs> we, are, we are live again on our pub quiz, our virtual pub quiz. And it's Thursday evening and it's, well, I don't know, where are we? Week eight? Goodness gracious, weeks are absolutely flying, absolutely flying by. Another beautiful day, um, could do with a few more degrees on the temperature. Still a little bit chilly, but apart from that, it's a beautiful day beautiful evening and lovely and sunny and hopefully we will be welcomed um, or we will be welcoming um, uh, some new people to the quiz tonight as well as a number of our good old regulars as well and I've actually managed to get the new version of live producer to work tonight a um, little bit of a, a, a scary moment because um, I had to uh, I had to download Firefox to make it work um, doesn't work in uh, Google Chrome or Edge. Um, anyway, but got it sorted, thank goodness. Um, luckily, I seem to have a little niggle at the back of my head that it might not work too well, so I did come out um, a little bit earlier and enabled myself to get on board and get live, which is great just as well because it looks like we've already got some people logging in, which is super, so great to see you. There we go, and I've got the uh, I've got the comments coming up. So the waddles have arrived. They're here. That's fantastic. Great to see you guys. Thanks for joining. Just wait a few more minutes. Um, just to let a few more people turn in, and um, we've got a number of people who might join tonight who will be um, newbies for the quiz. Um, some people who haven't done Facebook Live before. Um, so hopefully if they are now logging on to the page they will be able to see that I'm uh, I'm chuntering away to myself going live and be able to join in as well so we'll just give a few more minutes while those people those people come through Graham and Irene are here as well lovely so that's a full a full house of waddles what, what's a what's a group of waddles called that's that's not a quiz question by the way that's just the collective noun for met several waddles i don't know but that's there's a little brain teaser to think about okay so we've got four four watching at the moment um now i'm struggling to move ooh, trying to move the comments without moving myself and actually by oh i'm disappearing oh there we go managed it there we are and the doodies are here as well super duper and we've got seven we've got seven so if it's your first time um then welcome welcome lovely to have you join us on gray cells for gaga a little bit of a fun quiz just to keep the cogs turning at this uh, crazy time um and have a have a little bit of fun and hopefully raise a, a little few pounds as well for goodwill and growth for africa um if you're enjoying the quiz uh, then if you feel like popping um, a few quid in then that will be wonderful thank you very very much okay so it looks like we are we are broadcasting it's all coming through it's looking good so uh thank you that's it yeah got a, got a comment there from mark saying it's it's all fine in the house so that's good um i've got my phone on so we'll see if anybody tries to join from there okay well look at that it's seven o'clock and as per usual on the thursday uh, we are aiming to go through the quiz and be finished in good time to go out and do the uh, what's now become a traditional um round of applause great appreciation for everybody who's working so hard at the moment um, in this particular situation whether they be in the care sector or the national health service um, and various other key workers um, who are helping us to keep our lives normal as normal as they can be and keep us safe and healthy and the hamers are there from the south coast as well so that's wonderful okay now tonight i thought we'd, we'd try something we'd do something a little bit different so i've got i've got six questions first of all just to warm you up just to get you thinking Okay, six questions just to, to think about and then the, the bulk of the quiz is going to be um, questions where they will go, I will go through the alphabet and the answer to the question will be the relevant letter of the alphabet. So um, obviously the first question will be uh, something, a question and the answer will begin with the letter A, the second question the answer will begin with the letter B. 
etc. So slightly different, a little bit of a mix up. Obviously, because there's only 26 letters in the alphabet, um, I've had to I've had to find six little questions just to warm you up so that we stick with our 32. Um, yeah, I don't know why, but I just felt it was it was appropriate. So let's do the warm up round. So the first question in the warm up round: Are you ready? Which is not a position in netball? Shooting guard, wing attack, centre, goal defence, or goal shooter? So which of these is not a position in netball? Shooting guard, wing attack, centre, goal defence, or goal shooter? Test your knowledge of netball. Seems a long time ago that I played netball. I do remember one of those positions. But yeah, it certainly wasn't the one I played. That was always the one I went to. Slightly taller people than me, shall we say. <laughs> okay seconds of thought and hopefully you've thought about it and you've all got an answer. So question number two, which is not a type of shark? A nurse, beluga, carpet or whale? Which of these is not a type of shark? Nurse, Beluga, carpet, or, wh or whale. Sorry, I lost my voice then. Just disappeared. <laughs> oh, there we go. Lynn and Al too. Super duper. Great to have you back, guys. Anybody else who's joined, um, please do just pop a little comment in just so I know you're there. Say hello. And um, any problems that you have with the transmission, if you uh, would like me to repeat a question, if you'd like me to spell anything out, just pop it in the comments um, and I should be able to respond to you quite quickly. And uh, then at the end of the end of the round, we'll do the answers and you can give me your scores and uh, we'll see how we're all doing. So that's the format. That's the way we do it. Right. So let's go on to question three then of this little warm up round. Question three. Which is not an Italian lake? Garda, Lesino, Lujano, Cara Salgio, or Isio? Which one is not an Italian lake? Garda, Lesino, Lujano, Cara Salgio, or Isio? One of those is not an Italian lake. Oh, that next door, Carolyn missed question number one. So, Carolyn, I'll just go back over that um, when I've when I've um, finished here. This is a short six-question warm-up round um, because all of the other questions afterwards are all going to follow through the alphabet. So, the answer will begin with the relevant letter of the alphabet. So, don't worry, I will go back over these questions. Um, so we're just in our warm-up round and we've just had question number three in the first warm-up. <laughs> yep, I think that's probably right there, Douglas. <laughs> I might need to I might need to moderate that. Uh, <laughs> it's it's yes, it's called a party. <laughs> okay. Question number four. The Nobel Prize is awarded in which six categories? I'm going to give you a bit of thinking time on this because you've got to think about all six. So the Nobel Prize is awarded in which six categories? bit of thinking time because I think some of them spring to mind straight away, some of them 
you might have a little bit of a debate over. So just think about those Nobel Prizes. What are the six categories? Oh yes, a wisdom of waddles. That sounds rather good. Certainly fits in with the uh, sits, fits in with the quiz idea, doesn't it? The Nobel Prize is awarded in which six categories? I said it was a warm-up round. I didn't say I was going to make it easy for you. Okay. Has that given you enough thinking time? Very hard to judge sometimes. I keep meaning to look at the seconds, and I, I think I've given you a good amount of time for that. Let's just go on to question five, and then perhaps if uh, if you want to think about um, those other categories, you might you might suddenly remember one. So question number five: Griffin, Apache, and Merlin are all what? Griffin, Apache. And Merlin are all what? Okay. Good big glass of squash tonight. A little bit of a tickle in the throat earlier, and I thought that's the last thing I need to be on the quiz. So, question number five in the warm up round Griffin, Apache, and Merlin are all what? And the final question, as I say, this warm-up round is only going to be six questions tonight, a little short round, because then we go on into the, uh, the alphabet quiz. So the final one of the warm-up round is Donald Trump has been married three times. I know. What are his wife's first names? So Donald, Donald Trump has been married three times. But what are his wife's first names? Nice comments, guys. I like that. That's great. Okay. So those three wives of Donald Trump. Righty ho. Let's go through. Let's go through those six warm up questions one more time. So here we are, question one, Carolyn. Okay, ready? Which is not a position in netball. Shooting guard, wing attack, center, goal defense, or goal shooter. Which of those is not a position in netball? Question number two. Which is not a type of shark? A nurse, a beluga, a carpet, or a whale? Which of those is not a type of shark? Question number three. Which is not an Italian lake? Garda, Lesino, Lujano, Carasaggio, or Issio? Question number four. The Nobel Prize is awarded in which six categories? Six categories. I need all six or a point for each, I think. A point for each. Let's let's make this a high scoring quiz. A point for each. And question number five. Griffin, Apache and Merlin are all what? And finally... Question number six, and maybe you can have a point for each of these either. Hmm, yeah, why not, hey? Why not? Donald Trump has been married three times. What are his wives' first names? 
And if we score like that, some people might even get into double figures. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Out of a possible 13. So for question number four, you get one point for each of the six categories that you can name. And for question number six, you get one point for each of the wives of Donald Trump that you can name. And it's not Mrs. Trump 1, Mrs. Trump 2, and Mrs. Trump 3. Just saying. Okay, there we are. We are, we are just, uh, yeah, what's that? Just 12 minutes after seven. So we're in, we're, we're, up, we're up to speed. We're in the right sort of shape. Let's see how that round went. So that slightly shorter round, but a few questions with multiple answers. So a bit of a balance, I think you got out of a possible 13. So let's see how you got on. Are you ready? So netball, shooting guard. That is actually a basketball position. Shooting guard. Question number two, beluga. A beluga is actually a whale, not a shark. Whereas a whale shark is a shark. Now we clear that one up. Okay, question number three. The lake that is not Italian is actually in New Jersey in the USA and it is Lake Carasal, Carasaljo. Sorry, Carasaljo. C A R A S A L J O. Carasaljo. Okay, now, so this big six pointer, the Nobel Prize, is awarded for peace, literature, medicine, physics, chemistry, and economics. So you can have a point for each of those that you got. Peace, literature, medicine, physics, chemistry, and economics. And question number five, the answer is helicopters. The Griffin, Apache, Merlin, they're all helicopters. And finally, for your warm-up round, question number six, those wives of Trump are Ivana, Marla, and Melania. Ivana, Marla, and Melania. Okay, so I think a possible 13. So we could have a high scoring round. And hopefully that's got you in the mood. So let's have a tot up. Let me know who is ready to tell me how well they did. How well they did on that first round before we launch into the main event, which is a quiz based on all the letters of the alphabet. So each answer will be for the following letter of the alphabet, or begin with the following letter. So. Oh, a strong 12. A very strong 12 from the Watleys. I'm guessing, I'm guessing it might be the lake you didn't get. Is it the lake? Eight from Mark, eight and Irene, eight from Irene, answered three. <gasps> Annette, are you suggesting a little bit of uh, a little bit of cheating going on in the Watley household, hey? Mm -hmm. Ten for the Dooleys, oh, you see. Told you we'd get some doubles, doubles um, digit numbers. Seven from the Morrisons, eight. Or oh, all Trump's wife, he's called Mrs. Trump. Well, I suppose so, but nope, sorry. Need, need something a little bit more, a little bit more detailed than that. Six from next door, fantastic, okie dokie. And economics was the question that the Watleys missed. <laughs> right, okay, so are we ready? So we're going to launch now. I'm just gonna do them in blocks of eight because you know, we've kind of got used to having eight questions, haven't we? Before we come back and do some answers. So we're gonna go from letter A to letter H. So for each of these questions, I'm going to ask you a question and the answer will begin with that letter of the alphabet. Okay, simples? Let's give it a go. Are we ready? And eight for the Hamers. Very good. Okay, great. Let's see how we get on with this one then. So, the letter A. What was the name of Elvis Costello's backing band from 1978 
1986. The letter A. The thinking time. Bit of a favourite, Elvis Costello. all of these onto YouTube by the way um, which is quite amusing because it's quite funny how my hair looks different virtually every day never realized that but there you go so yeah so if you uh, if you do want to revisit any of them you can either find them on Facebook or you can find them on YouTube righty ho now the next question is the letter B the letter B So I'm going to write this down. So I, I was I, I meant to look up how to pronounce this word, um, but of course, I, I, as some of you might have realised, I I had some um, had a little bit of a hitch um, getting on earlier. So the uh, the the name of the place is uh, Dakar. Dhaka, Dhaka, Dhaka. So Dhaka is the capital city of which country? And remember, that's the question which relates to the letter B. B for Bravo. Dakarta? Da no, it's not Dakarta, is it? It's Dhaka. 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 Oh, well, there we go. Didn't have time to do my pronunciation check, but I've written it down for you. And that's for the letter B. Next question, the letter C, the letter C, Natalie and Nicole Appleton of girl group All Saints were born in which country? And it's the letter C. Natalie and Nicole Appleton of the girl group All Saints was born in, were, were both born, I think they're twins aren't they, <laughs> were born in which country? Okay, now the question for the letter D. Theodore S. Geisel is better known as which children's book author? Theodore S. Geisel is better known as which children's book author? And that's the question for the letter D. Question for the letter E. Cenotaph is based on two Greek words, meaning what in English? That's for the letter E. Cenotaph is based on two Greek words, meaning what in English? answer begins with the letter E. And now we're into letter F. What are the two terms used in the production of nuclear energy for splitting and combining atoms? What are the two terms used in the production of nuclear energy for splitting and combining atoms? Beginning with the letter F. How 
How are we liking? How are we liking the alphabet? Is it good? Yeah, a bit different, isn't it? Okay. Seventh letter of the alphabet, we're now letter G. Letter G. Who starred alongside Richard Pryor in the film Stir Crazy? Who starred alongside Richard Pryor in the film Stir Crazy? thinking time there, it's on the tip of your tongue, you can see his face, can you get his name? And the last question in this section, first eight letters of the alphabet, the last one is of course for letter H, letter H. What game is started with a bully off? What game is started with a bully off? Let's go through those one more time. Just one more time. Letters A to H. So the answer of um, each question be begins with the letter of the alphabet um, that I will say at the beginning. So, letter A. What was the name of Elvis Costello's backing group or backing band from 1978 until 1986? Letter B. Here we are. Dakar. Dhaka is the capital city of which country? Letter C. Nicole and Natalie Appleton of girl group All Saints were born in which country? Letter D. Theodore S. Geisel is better known as which children's book author? Letter E. Cenotaph is based on two Greek words meaning what in English? Letter F, what are the two terms used, sorry, yes, what are the two terms used in the production of nuclear energy for splitting and combining atoms? The letter G, who starred alongside Richard Pryor in the film Stir Crazy? And letter H, what game is started with a bully off? Can you turn the volume up? Oh, I don't know if I can, Lynn. Um, let's have a look. Settings, microphone. Maybe I just need to. Is that better? If I just move it better a little bit closer. Is that better? Um, hmm. See if I've got a setting. Uh, it just says that I'm using. If not, I'll just try and be a bit more shouty. Maybe that'll help. Is that better? Okay. That's better. Oh, oh, there we are. Mitchinson's couldn't hear me either, but now you can. Hopefully, can you? Yes. Good. Okay. Let's go through. Do, do you want me to go through those alphabet questions one last time then, seeing as there was a bit of a volume issue? I'll, I'll do it anyway, shall I? Yeah, why not? We've got time. Okay. So, letter A. What was the name of Elvis Costello's backing band from 1978 to 1986? Letter B. Oh, you make me say this again. Dakar? Dhaka is the capital city of which country? Letter C. Natalie and Nicole Appleton of the girl group All Saints were born in which country? Are you saying you can or you can't hear, Sylvia? Oh no, this is a disaster. Letter D. Theodore S. Geisel is better known as which children's book author? Letter E, cenotaph is based on two Greek words, meaning what in English. 
the letter F, what are the two terms? Oh, goodness, all oh, my video's gone as well now. What are the two terms used in the production of nuclear energy for splitting and combining atoms? No, Senegal doesn't begin with a B, you're right. And finally, what game is, oh, sorry, letter G, who starred alongside Richard Pryor in the film Stir Crazy? And then letter H, what game is started with a bully off? Okay, right, now you can hear, now we can, hopefully we can all hear, I now can't see myself, which is probably not a bad thing, um, so I don't know what's going on. Anyway, let's give it a go. So the answers, so the answer is, oh, okay, it's louder when you hold your mouth, all right, I'll, I'll pull it closer to my mouth. Okay, so the answers are, letter A, it is attractions, Elvis Costello and the attractions, the letter B, the answer to the letter B is Bangladesh. Letter C is Canada. Letter D, that children's author is Dr. Zeus. The senator for letter E is empty tomb or empty grave. The two nuclear um, Reactor or the two new the two terms for the nuclear uh, nuclear nuclear uh, production of nuclear energy is fusion and fission. Fusion and fission. Okay, that actor who was with Richard Pryor in Stir Crazy was Gene Wilder for G, and finally for H we're looking for hockey looking for hockey okay right I'm really sorry I don't quite know why everything's going a little bit wrong um, but hopefully that's a little bit better for you um, and we'll see if we can uh, I don't think we're gonna get the video back um, anyway it doesn't matter let's go on with the next set of eight questions so now we're going to go from letter I all the way through to letter P okay so letter I what was the name of David Bowie's second wife, who he married in 1992? Second wife. David Bowie married her in 1992 and her name begins with the letter I. Letter J. Letter J. Who is the oldest living former UK Prime Minister? Begins with the letter J. Who is the oldest living former UK Prime Minister? I was quite surprised at this actually. Go. Letter K. What is the Greek word for castle? Letter K. What is the Greek word for castle? A little bit of thinking time there. Don't worry about the spelling as long as it's sort of sort of sounds like it <laughs> okay letter l preston is the administrative headquarters for which county in the united kingdom preston is the administrative headquarters for which county in the united kingdom and the letter M, the letter M, where was the 1986 FIFA World Cup held? 1986 FIFA World Cup, where was it held? OK, 
Okay, are we ready for the question with the answer beginning with the letter O? In which fictional world... Oh, no, I'm sorry, it's N, isn't it? Sorry, my mistake. <laughs> M-N-O. Okay, letter N. In which fictional world is the lion, the witch and the wardrobe set? In which fictional world is the lion, the witch and the wardrobe set? And that's the question B with the answer beginning with the letter N. A bit of thinking time. Letter O. What is the main ingredient in sauce Lyonnais? The letter O. What is the main ingredient in sauce Lyonnais? And finally for this section, for the letter P. What is the name of the raised enclosed platform in a church from where sermons are delivered. What is the name of the raised enclosed platform in a church from where sermons are delivered? The letter P. Right. Oh, let <laughs> Alexa's obviously picking up my voice <laughs> in the house. <laughs> oh, well, at least that shows that the sound is coming through. All right, let's go through these questions one more time then. This is for the section of the alphabet quiz that takes us from letter I through to letter P. Letter I. What was the name of David Bowie's second wife, who he married in 1992? Letter J. Who is the oldest living United Kingdom former United Kingdom Prime Minister? The oldest living former United Kingdom Prime Minister. Letter K. What is the Greek word for castle? Letter L. Preston is the administrative headquarters of which UK county? The letter M. Where was the 1986 FIFA World Cup played? The letter N. In which fictional world is the lion, the witch and the wardrobe set? Letter O. What is the main ingredient in a sauce Lyonnais? And finally, the letter P. What is the name of the raised enclosed platform in a church from where sermons are delivered? Okay, hopefully that enabled you to catch up a little bit and um, any problems with the audio are now resolved. Uh, obviously not, not resolved with the video, but um, certainly when this happened last time I think you could still see me. Um, so, anyway, as long as you can hear me, that's the main thing, I suppose. Right, so let's get these answers. So, David Bowie's second wife is called Iman. I-M-A-N. Iman. That Prime Minister is actually John Major. Obviously, P's are very good for you. <laughs> Grey John Major. He is the oldest living UK former Prime Minister. In Greek... A castle is a castro, a castro, and that is spelt K-A-S-T-R-O, a castro. There we are. Preston is, of course, in Lancashire. The letter L, Lancashire. The answer to the letter M is Mexico. 1986 FIFA World Cup final in Mexico. That mystical land beginning with N is Narnia. 
the, the answer to the letter O question, sauce Lyonnais, is onions. And finally, a sermon is delivered from a pulpit, a pulpit in a church. The letter P. How's that, guys? Top them up and let me know how you got on. And then we're going to finish with a bump around. It's going to take us all the way from Q all the way to Z. All the way from Q to Z. Okay, six. Six from the Watleys. Seven from the Mitchinsons. Oh, very good. Six from the Dooleys. Five from Mark. Okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. Hopefully, um, oh, seven from the Hamers. Very, oh, ten. Ten. How did you get ten? I thought I only asked eight questions. <laughs> or is that ten in total for the whole of the alphabet? Six. Okay. Excellent. Right. Okay. Shall we move on then? Let's let's do this final the final bit. We've got twenty minutes uh, before we need to go out and uh, do our appreciation. Four. Four from that round from Carolyn next door. All right. Are we ready? So let's start with the letter Q. The letter Q. Ah, yeah. Six and four. That's fine. Great. Okay. Super duper. Excellent. Okay. The letter Q. How are the Society of Friends better known? How are the Society of Friends better known? Answer beginning with the letter Q. Okay, the letter R. What name is given to a person directing a circus show. What name is given to a person directing a circus show? Letter R. Okay, have you all got that one? Still on directing, but a different sort of directing now. Who directed... Oh, sorry, this is for the letter S, by the way. Sorry. Letter S. Who directed Saving Private Ryan and Schindler's List? The letter S. Who directed Saving Private Ryan and Schindler's List? And the letter T. Which mountain overlooks Cape Town in South Africa? Which mountain overlooks Cape Town in South Africa? The letter T. Few more seconds thinking time there. How's your geography? How's your Yep. There we go. The letter U. What is the name of Nat King Cole's most memorable song of nineteen fifty one? Beginning with the letter U, what is the name of Nat King Cole's most memorable song of nineteen fifty one? I bet you're all you're all playing it in your head now, aren't you? I just know you are. Now we're moving on. Moving on to the letter V. The letter V. Who is the mother of Brooklyn, Romeo, Cruz and Harper? The letter V. 
who is the mother of Brooklyn, Romeo, Cruz and Harper? <laughs> How are we getting on? Just four more to go. Can you believe it? Just four more. These quizzes whiz by, don't they? Just four more questions. And, well, I had to do this one. I was, it's a bit of a gift, I think. The letter W. The letter W. Who is known as the Bard of Avon? The letter W. Who is known as the Bard of Avon? Ah. Last three. Last three to go. The letter X. The letter X. What is the second largest cultural group of people after the Zulus which make up the native population of South Africa and have a language that includes click consonants. Clicks. What is the second largest cultural group of people after the Zulus, which make up the native population of South Africa and have a language that includes click consonants. That's them. Those click consonants. few seconds of thinking time there. Begins with the letter X. Okay. Beginning with the letter Y, which Russian actor appeared in The Magnificent Seven and The Ten Commandments? Beginning with the letter Y, which Russian actor appeared in the Magnificent Seven and the Ten Commandments. And the final question tonight in our Grey Cells for Gaga, in our alphabet round, is of course the letter Z. And the question is, which river flows over the Victoria Falls? Beginning with the letter Z, which river flows over the Victoria Falls? Okay. That was a bump around because, of course, 26 doesn't divide by 80 equally, does it? So we had 10 questions there just to finish off. Let's run through them one more time, just in case you missed any. Beginning with the letter Q, how are the Society of Friends better known? Beginning with the letter R, what name is given to a person directing a circus show? Beginning with the letter S, who directed Saving Private Ryan and Schindler's List? Beginning with the letter T, which mountain overlooks Cape Town in South Africa? Beginning with the letter U, what is the name of Nat King Cole's most memorable song of 1951? Beginning with the letter V, who is the mother of Brooklyn, Romeo, Cruz and Harper? Beginning with the letter W, who is known as the Bard of Avon? 
beginning with the letter X, what is the second larger, largest cultural group of people after the Zulus, which make up the native population of South Africa and have a language that includes click consonants? Beginning with the letter Y, which Russian actor appeared in The Magnificent Seven and The Ten Commandments? And finally, beginning with the letter Z, which river flows over the Victoria Falls? Okay, there we are. So we have, we are just coming up to 10 to 8. We have 10 answers to give you. Are you ready to mark your questions? The letter Q. We were looking for the Quakers. The Quakers. The letter R is a ringmaster. A ringmaster. That director that we were looking for with the letter S is actually double S. It's Steven Spielberg. And in Cape Town, you would look up at Table Mountain. Table Mountain. Nat King Cole, of course, unforgettable. Unforgettable. That's what you are. Unforgettable. And the letter V, we were looking for Victoria Beckham. The letter W, bit of a gift for the locals. William Shakespeare, the letter X, we were looking for the Kosa people, Kosa, which is spelt X-H-O-S-A, Kosa. The letter Y, we were looking for Yul Brynner, Yul Brynner, that Russian actor, and finally the river, beginning with the letter Z, is the Zambezi. The Zambezi River flowing over the Victoria Falls on the border between Zambia and Zimbabwe. Okay, tot them up. Let's see how we all got on. Let's see. Do we like, do we like an alphabet quiz? That's the question. Do we get thumbs up? Is it, is it good to have a fair little hint? Does it help? Ten. Ten out of ten. A very strong finish. Very good. Very good strong finish there. Excellent. Good news. Oh, nine. And four from Irene. Super. Nines. Eights. Nines. Oh, eight. Excellent. Oh, that's really, really good. Well, that's brilliant. Thank you so much again for joining everybody. Um, please don't forget, uh, nine from the Morrisons. Wonderful. Please, please tell your friends about this. Oh, we like the alphabet one. Good. Excellent. Okie dokie. Yep. Yeah, so please do tell your friends. Um, any, any, obviously anybody can um, go onto Facebook and just find the Goodwill and Growth for Africa. Um, oh, great. Thank you, Mitch. Brilliant quiz. Thank you very much for the feedback. Um, so yeah, anybody can go on to, thank you, Lynn. Thank you. Um, the Goodwill and Growth for Africa Facebook page and they will see me going live. Um, very happy, um, you know, we, we can have as many people as, as can join. Uh, it's fantastic. Um, and if anybody wants to um, revisit any of the quizzes <laughs> um, or, you know, um, somebody else wants to share them with, with anybody who's perhaps not on Facebook, um, they are all now on the Goodwill, on the Gaga um, YouTube channel. Um, so if you just go onto YouTube, you can either search Gaga UK 100, which is our YouTube name, or you can just search Grey Cells for Gaga. I've, I've put them all on there, um, all called that with, with a number after them. Um, and so, you know, anybody who's not on Facebook, um, but perhaps wants to do a little quiz, they can do it through, through that as well. Um, they're also on our website um, as well, which is www gaga-uk.org. So thank you very much, everybody. Look forward to um, bringing you another quiz on Tuesday. 
Um, let's get over this, get over this weekend, get the warmth back. I think we're getting a bit of warm weather back. Um, and just time, lovely for you all to join. Thank you, Irene. Thank you, Annette. Thank you, thank you, Sylvia. Brilliant um, to have you all joining in. And let's go and show our appreciation for those key workers. Cheerio. Have a lovely time. Bye.